good afternoon. <laughs> I'm really happy to be speaking about this today. Uh, this is a, I'm reporting today on a research study that we did at the university. And this uh, has not been shared yet anywhere. We're finalizing the paper and it's gonna be sent for publications uh, next week. And it is to report on uh, the virtual field experience that uh, a cohort of Emirati teachers uh, went through this past summer. So to give you a little bit of, um, here we go, of context, the study was done where I work at Zayed University in Dubai, where I am the chair of the education studies department. And the study was at the College of Education uh, in our teacher preparation program. And our teacher preparation program is eight semesters. And this was for practicum three, which happens in semester seven, which means it's the semester right before the full internship. Uh, it happened this past summer, and I was lucky enough to supervise the first cohort ever of uh, young Emirati pre-service teachers who uh, went through the experience of teaching online in one of our partner school, which was a public school. Uh, they uh, usually in practicum three, the students focus on lesson planning and whole class teaching and uh, reflection. Um, so it was, um, we didn't change anything. We just took them online. And so the whole study was done under the theoretical framework of the situated cognition learning theory. And we found this to be the best theory to fit because it focuses on the social and physical contexts where learning happens and the way it happens. And so to understand the concept, learners should learn from uh, wherever their learning takes place. And in this situation, it was in the online environment. Uh, situated learning emphasizes intentional and this was the key for us, an active and hands-on practice as a primary mechanism. And we focused on intentional because in the teacher preparation programs, they were up before until COVID-19, really there wasn't much uh, focus on, um, sorry, you guys, <laughs> there wasn't much focus on, um, here we go. There wasn't much focus on um, online teaching and learning because we, we hadn't had the need to do so. And then suddenly we were thrown into this um, emergency response teaching online, not really well planned online uh, teaching. So, um, and then we sent these students. So to be fully prepared to teach online, our teachers must be exposed to authentic online learning in, in, a, in the K to 12 environment during their field experience. And so we had four participants only in summer because this was the cohort we tried this on. Uh, and they taught, as you can see, grades two, three, and four. And they taught English and science. And they had quite large classes, 28, you know, 22 to 28. So they weren't small classes and they didn't teach small group. They taught full classes. Now, um, they had to teach in Arabic because this was a public school. And of course, there were great limitations to that because we know that the public schools uh, are not turning on their cameras. But uh, this was a great learning experience. So I'm going to report on what we found moving forward. But before that, I want to talk about the design. So this was the first time that this online practicum was implemented. And in the context of the study, because of the pandemic, actually, it was the first time uh, in summer, most universities opted not to send um, their students to do any practical experience online because we were hoping to come back to campus in the fall, which didn't happen. So uh, what we did, we went with a qualitative exploratory research design, and uh, we adopted this in, to be able to make meaning of what the participants experienced. And from that, um, we would be able to plan moving ahead. So we collected our data through three sources. First, we did interviews, and these were semi-structured, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, 45 to 60 minutes. They were bilingual interviews. They were uh, um, conducted by myself and my uh, co-author. And then uh, the second source of data were uh, journals, reflective journals. Uh, the students, well, not students, the pre-service teachers uh, kept uh, 10 journals each because they had 10 days of teaching over a period of uh, seven weeks. And so a total of 40 journals were analyzed. And then at the end of the practica, uh, each one uh, wrote an overall detailed reflection uh, discussing her feelings and, and her impression and the whole experience, because I have to be honest, they were quite nervous going into this uh, semester. 
So what did we find? Uh, we were very pleased because the results were more positive than we thought they would be. So the overall responses um, from the three sources of triangulated data indicated that they enjoyed being involved in this unique experience. What happened, and we were very lucky with the school where we placed them, is that their mentor teachers at school were extremely also uh, eager to help our teacher candidates. So the experience as a whole was described as fruitful and it helped them, they indicated, develop personally and professionally. Um, they had great support, I must say, from their mentors and I have to give credit to where we placed them because if it weren't for the mentor, this would have gone a whole different way. So they reported positive feelings when describing their experience. And then this is one of the quotes from one of my participants. So she said, I'm very happy. I felt proud of myself. Uh, I'm very thankful to my university for giving me this wonderful opportunity that I'll always remember. And it was an amazing learning experience. We were very proud also of how um, flexible the uh, our four teacher candidates were because this was completely uncharted territory it was being sent into the unknown to be very honest go into an online classroom and teach and you haven't been um you know trained properly and so the results uh led us to develop this framework and the framework is based on the four themes we came up with and then the sub themes the four themes that came out from uh, the data we collected uh, revolved around teaching skills and practices, classroom management, use of techno technological resources, of course, and the mentor's support. So if I may uh, just go briefly into details in the sub-themes, uh, sub I start with classroom management. Now, I think um, uh, whoever is watching us who is in classroom <laughs> knows that it's completely different. You know, classroom management is, is so different online than it is in class. And a lot of the, um, a lot of my candidates reported that uh, they were being thrown out of the class by the students. Students were muting each other. And, you know, a lot of that was happening, but uh, they talked about how to create pair and group work activities. They talked about how to establish uh, the classroom rules and routines. And this is all things that they learned from their mentors. Uh, we talked about uh, how to limit students' control of, yeah, of you know, or access to uh, to the class actually, and uh, and the roles, which is uh, the online roles, which is also was very new for our teacher candidates. In terms of teaching skills and practices, uh, we talked about designing the online classroom. This came up a lot and uh, creating interactive online lessons. Uh, we know that in the face-to-face -face class, they had to use, you know, we, we all use technology, but being online, this was completely challenging for them. Uh, they talked about a differentiation online, which was really uh, a challenge because in classes of 28 students, um, it is a, a huge task to be able to differentiate. And uh, these were grade two students. And so managing the breakout rooms was a little bit challenging at first for my teacher candidates. With they talked about the structure of their lessons and how at the start when they went online, they kept running out of time. They would plan for a 30 minute lesson on paper, it looked really good, going into it and implementing. Uh, they'd run out of time and, you know, and only get to achieve like 20% of their lessons. So by the end of the experience, we asked again and looking at their reflection, they were able to manage their time uh, better. The mentor support, which we were very um, interested in, in looking at because of the theoretical framework we chose to follow, um, the mentors gave immediate feedback on the lessons day by day, on the mini lessons and the full lessons. The mentors' uh, communication channels had to be open all the time because uh, the teacher candidates were um, nervous, uh, they were uh, apprehensive, and they were unsure at the, at the beginning. And they needed that support from me as their supervisor and from their mentor in school. Uh, the, the mentor... Um, observed them in action. The mentor gave, because again, these mentors had, were teachers that had been teaching online since the shift. So they already had um, 
all these strategies in place and they knew how to help the teacher candidates. So they watched them in their online class and every lesson they taught and gave constructive feedback. And finally, the technology. The technology proved to be the most fun, actually, based on everything that was, um, all the feedback that they gave. They, uh, they, uh, they all indicated that their knowledge of the tools and that uh, their knowledge of the apps and, and the websites that they could visit, it was just greatly expanded because, you know, um, again, teaching live is very, very different. And then here they go, they have to be online and they have to make their lessons active. And so they had to um, open up to a whole world of new uh, technological uh, resources. Uh, the technology helped them to prepare um, to um, select online activities, games, also to evaluate um, a good resource from a bad resource, which um, we all know there's all kinds of stuff online. So um, this helped a lot. Also, um, the mentors um, helped them train on the resources, but a point that we came up with that, you know, uh, from now on, our the framework actually um, will help us as a teacher preparation college to look at all these four themes and, their, and these sub themes and make sure that our teacher candidates are trained on how to use certain uh, certain mobile learning tools and the technology that they need to be able to teach online. Because we see that um, this term, we are also online and then moving forward, um, we don't, um, <laughs> one second, moving forward, we, uh, we're not sure what's gonna happen. Uh, the discussion of our study was that the study helped us to shed light on, on the need that we need to prepare uh, online uh, for online teaching. We have to, because even if we do go back to class, we're not going to go back to class the same way we were before. If we don't, we, I think moving forward, what, what we, what we envision is a blended model of teaching and learning. So um, we are, what we need to do and what all, teacher preparation programs need to do is now incorporate authentic learning opportunities for, for online teaching in their programs. And these opportunities uh, need to include expanding the range of skills that we're giving to our uh, teacher candidates to boost their online experiences. Um, although this was the first time this was practiced in the UAE, the participants said, it was, I mean, the, the response, and I know there are only four and it was a case study, but this was our exploratory study. The response was very, very positive. Uh, they did say that it, it, the online uh, experience helped them uh, apply the content knowledge that they had gained in their classes. Um, and it was very important for them to observe the teacher, to observe their mentor, and then to model what their mentor was doing online. And that was very um, essential, that relationship between the mentor and the teacher candidate and for it to be very strong. Uh, we believe that by observing their mentors, our pre-service teachers were able to uh, critically reflect on their experience and to learn from their mistakes. And that came through in the journals that they wrote and the reflections. And that is it for me. Thank you very much.